Shalom. I'd like to start off this lesson by saying, Kal Halal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. This lesson is just going to be titled Herbs um, because, you know, herbs are very important, right? Roots, you know, plants, medicine, flowers, but herbs are very important, right? And most Yahweh Bashem Shai gave us these herbs for us to use. So we're going to start off at Romans 14 and 2. <clears throat> For one believeth that he may eat all things, right? So, <laughs> for one who believeth that he may eat all things, right? So that person you can refer to as the so-called obese person, right? Right? Because they believe they can eat everything. That's what they do. And their body is a reflection of it, right? Another who is weak eateth herbs. So when you're weak, when you're sick, you know, you have something wrong with your stomach, something's going on, you eat herbs, right? That's how we are taught to eat natural things to cleanse ourselves. Like say, for example, if you have inflammation in your body, you eat ginger, right? You know they eat ginger because that fights, it's a anti-inflammatory, right? <clears throat> so let's go into the word herbs. <clears throat> Make sure I put the volume up. Strong's G three thousand one, Lachanan, Lachanan, Lachanan. Um, Any pot herb vegetables? Okay. So, let's go into the definition of the word herb. Can't give you much there. Um, herb. Any plants with leaves, seeds, or flowers used for flavoring, food, medicine, or perfume. Any Number two, any seed-bearing plant which does not have a woody stem and dies down into the ground after, after flowering. Okay. Actually... Look that up again. Okay, so there we go. It says, um, that was what I was looking for. Medicine. Food and medicine. So we're talking about medicine right now. So herbs, right, are can be used as medicine to heal ourselves, right? Instead of these uh, pharmaceutical stuff that we see in the grocery stores and, you know, whatever pharmaceutical place or store you have in your city, you know, you can use the stuff that come out of the ground, Right, that Yahweh Bashem Shai gave us to use. <clears throat> so, for one believe that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. So, it's, you know, if you're weak, you're eating herbs. So, that's just one example. Um, we're going to go to Isaiah 42 and 15. I will make I will make waste Isaiah forty two and fifteen. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbs, and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. So, the point in this is that he's going to dry up all the herbs. So you can see it, there's a lot of scriptures that Most High is always referring to the herbs because the herbs are very important. <clears throat> As you can see, using those flowers, medicine, perfume, food, right? They're very, very uh, important, a very important tool, right? Very important plant. Very important thing that the Yahweh Bashem Al Shai put on the planet for us to use, right? And there's a lot of scriptures. We're going to go to another one. Um, actually, we're going to switch apps. Yeah. Oh, spelled that wrong. No. 
Cool. Right. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure the one I'm looking for. Uh, okay. The second Ezra's 926. So I went my way into the field, which is called Aradath, or Ardath, like as he commanded me, and there I sat among the flowers and did eat of the herbs of the field. And the meat of the same satisfied me. So he ate the herbs of the field. Okay? So you can eat herbs too. Because like we said in the, like we read in that definition, they're also food. They're not just things for medicine. They're also can be, they also could be food, so to speak. <clears throat> now we're going to go to 2nd Ezra 12 and 51. But I remain... Actually, let's, you know what, let's go and read up. Uh -huh. Bear with me. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's like a second Ezra's twelve second Ezra's twelve and fifty one. But I remained still in this in the field seven days, as the angel commanded me, and did eat only in those days of the flowers of the field, and had my meat of the herbs. So he had his meat of the herbs, so therefore he ate the herbs, right? So give me like broccoli, um, Anything with green leaves, basically, because that's what they refer to in the definition of herbs. Um, it can be uh, herbaceous. So let's go back, because let me just get the definition. I don't want to speak off of it. Isaiah. Because the definition for Isaiah 42 is different. Actually, you know what, let's use this. Forty two and fifteen, looking for a certain definition. Uh, okay, here we go. So, Strong's H sixty two twelve, Asev, Asev, Asev. So herb, herbage, herbaceous vegetation, and you know what? Let's even go there further in this. Oh, uh, you can't do that. It's okay. Pretty much everyone knows the word vegetation. So grass, green plants. So I'm going to do this. Actually, that's pretty much the point. Don't need to go further with that. So you can see... Right. Go back to this. Herbaceous vegetation. So vegetation... So when we go here, Second Ezra's twelve fifty one. But I remained still in the field seven days, as the angel commanded me, and did eat only in those days the flowers of the field and had my meat of the herbs. So he ate the herbs. So the herbs are very important because, like, as we're getting to this time, because it always comes back to this, you know, mark of the beast, the chip RFID chip. You have to understand that some a lot of us are going to be cast out of our houses. A lot, of us, a lot of us can be cast out of our houses, and the ones that are not going to be cast out of our houses, we might be locked in our houses. So we're not going to have meat's not going to meat's going to be like a it's going to be very scarce to get meat. And we saw what happened during the quarantine. 
first wave of the quarantine that meat storages were very thin right I'm, and i believe it's still going on right now right i don't know about in america but i know how it is here in uh canada i know in america from what i know that it is bad but nonetheless like herbs we can survive off of that as you can see he ate the meat of the herbs right herbs help us when it comes to medicinal uh, purposes when it comes for hunger right so we can eat these things and we should eat these things because they're here for us go to a second there was one more scripture i'm gonna try to make this short <clears throat> okay so this is actually the one i was looking for earlier uh-huh okay let's read for 25 who coming to jerusalem second maccabees 5 and 25 who coming to jerusalem and pretending peace did forbear till the holy day of the Sabbath, when taking the Jews, keeping holy day, he commanded his men to arm themselves. And so he slew all them that were gone to the celebrating of the Sabbath, and running through the city with weapons slew great multitudes. But Judas Maccabus, with nine others, or thereabout, withdrew himself into the wilderness and lived in the mountains after the manner of the beast. So they, they were about to be, there was a slaughter coming for them and they withdrew themselves. They went into the wilderness. So like I was saying in the scriptures, um, actually I'll just get it cast out. Uh, out of homes. I'm not that's not the word I'm looking for. Houses. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Cast out. I don't remember which scripture was that. Uh, Maybe if I do this. Ah, I can't find it. I, there's a scripture about it, but I, I know what it is. I just can't remember off the top of my head, unfortunately, but... We're going to be cast out of our houses. It says the elect will be cast out of their houses because, um, they, you know, they'll come for us, right? So we're going to go into the wilderness. And you can see uh, here, Judas Maccabus with nine others or thereabout withdrew himself into the wilderness and lived in the mountains after the manner of beasts with his company who fed on herbs continually. continually. These days should be partakers of the pollution because there, there, was a lot, there was a slaughter going on. So they hid in the mountains and they were taken care of because they're eating the herbs, right? So, like, one, this whole, when you get sick, you don't need to take these damn shots. You're not supposed to be taking shots anyways, right? Um, you can take herbs, ginger, lemon, you know, some honey, you know, mix that together. You know, if you have a bloating problem, there's a herb, there's there's a mixture for that, concoction for that. There's a concoction for everything, right? Esau, what they do with their pharmaceuticals, they just take those, um, they take the 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 pure, pure extract or the concentrated part of whatever herb it is, and they mass produce it, right? And then it comes with side effects because obviously it's not the real thing, so there's gonna be side effects with it. So that's what happens, right? Right, so um, there's actually one more scripture I wanted to go into. 
times 15. Okay. Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. So, it's funny. I wouldn't say funny, but when it comes to herbs, herbs, supplements, food, but let's just talk about herbs and supplements, supplementation. Um, my background is a trainer. I've been a trainer for at least six, seven years. You know, I play professional sports for three or five years, training for professional sports around 10 years. So I've taken supplements. I've taken herbs. I've done all the research and stuff like that, and I'm still doing it because I'm a trainer. Herbs and supplements don't work on your body unless your body is balanced, so to speak. If your body's not alkalized on an alkaline state, taking herbs will not work for you or it won't be as effective, right? If you hear about people taking stuff like, oh, it didn't work for me, it didn't work for me, it's because your body was acidic, right? right? Your body's in an acidosis state, okay? And when your body's acidic, it's, it's, it's dangerous, it's corrupted, you know? It's not an environment where things can grow and thrive, Right? And the scripture right here, when your body's alkalized, it's in the alkalized state. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's balanced. Things can grow there, you know. It's um, pure, right? And the scripture says, unto the pure, all things are pure, right? So when, you, when your body's alkalized, right, your metabolism works f uh, properly, um, you sleep properly, your skin is clear, you know, you have lots of energy, your, your muscle mass is good. Your bone density is good. Everything's good, right? When your body's acidic, it's the total opposite, right? So when your body's alkalized, you're in a pure state. So when you take when you want to take herbs, you want to make sure your body's in the alkalized state. It's in a pure state because things will just be pure. They will work, you know? When it's in an acidic state, things are not going to be, uh, they're working. Your body's going to be defiled, right? Right? And it will even affect your mind, as the scripture says, it will even go to your mind. You won't be thinking properly. You know, you have acid reflux. You know, you have bad sleep. Yeah, bro, your face will be breaking out. You'd be sore. You have inflammation all over your body, right? So being alkalized is very important. So it's still good to eat herbs because a lot of the herbs, um, there's one herb called IRC moss is very good. Um, chlorophyll is very good. Chlorophyll is actually like the blood it's basically plants blood, if you want to think like that. It's their blood, right? And what it does for humans, it, it, it cleans out our blood. It detoxifies our blood or detoxifies our body. Um, it increases our metabolism. You know, it flushes toxins out, like I just said. Uh, flushes metals out. It does a lot of things. Um, and also, especially for men, right? If you don't, I've done the research I didn't mean to for this to go too long, but brothers do need to know this. Like if you're a lot of the foods that we eat have pesticides in them, right? And pesticides lower the testosterone levels. So not, not a lot of people know that. Like all the foods that we eat from the grocery store are sprayed with test uh pesticides, everything. So that actually lowers our testosterone levels. So when your testosterone levels are low, you're not thinking clearly, you're not thinking it as decisively decisively and um if, and uh and effectively as you would as if they were under their balanced level, right? So you guys, you have to be aware of that. If you can eat organic foods, eat organic foods. If you can't, just be aware of that. And if you can't eat organic foods, you know, you need to find a herb that will um, raise your testosterone levels to a balanced state so you can think more clearly, right? And to get it, those herbs to work, you have to make sure your body's alkalized. You see what I mean? So it all works together. You can't just do one. You have to do all of them. So um, that's it on that. I hope this lesson was edifying to the elect because our health is very important, especially in these times that are coming. We need to be taking care of our bodies because we're going to be tested. And I know from just myself, from playing sports, for uh, being in the fitness industry for a long period of time, you taking your, care of your body will take you far, right? Because you only have one, this is the only vessel that you have. The most likely gave you one vessel. Now, when we get, Lord willing, Lord willing, one of the elect, and we know we get the new bodies, but at that time, we get new bodies that don't corrupt. But right now, these bodies are corruptible, so we got to maintain them to the best of our ability. So um, I hope this lesson was edifying. 
to the elect. And I want to close off by saying, Kal Halal Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shai, Bahashem Raka Kadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth, death and destruction to his wicked kingdom, and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abal Dabal, Shalom.